Welcome to Crockett Middle School, home to this year's HTSD Tech Night. My name is Joe Valver. I'm one of the technology facilitators for the school district, but tonight I'll be your guide to an inside look at this year's event. Stay with me for HTV Live from Tech Night. I'm joined with Kara Floodman, the coordinator of this year's Tech Night. Kara, for those of the people at home that still don't know what Tech Night is, could you share a little bit about what they could expect to see? So this year at Tech Night, we have three areas that we hope people can visit. The first one is the Teacher Showcase, which really is all volunteers of teachers demonstrating how they're using technology in their classroom. We also have the Career Expo, where we have industry professionals that have also volunteered their time to come and talk to kids and parents about careers in technology for their future. We also have a couple of colleges that have come to talk about programs that they offer in technology. And we also have robotics in the cafeteria with all six of our robotics teams demonstrating their robots and getting ready for competition and just showing people what they do. I think in the student's future, everything is going to have technology in their jobs and their future college careers. So really, we're just preparing them for the future of what's out there in the world because we don't know what will be out there. So we're trying to give them the skills that they need to succeed in their future and find a job that they love to do so that they never feel like they work a day in their life. I'm here in our tech showcase where teachers and students from across the district are showcasing the way we use technology in our classrooms and our clubs. Guests can take a stab at flying and landing a plane with our aviation club, visit distant lands with VR headsets, and even play a little NBA 2K at our newly approved eSports team. They can even learn a little bit about robotics and coding in our STEAM playground. I'm here with Angela Walter, a second grade teacher at Yardville Heights Elementary. Angela, tell us a little bit about what you're showcasing tonight and how you use it with your students. So tonight I'm showcasing Epic Book for Kids. It is an e-library filled with audiobooks, read to me books, and digital books that the students can read. In my classroom I use it mainly in center so the students all have their own account. They log in and they find books that they're interested in reading. They can pick books, they can read it to themselves, they can read it with a buddy. That's a nice alternative to reading your regular paperback book. And is this something students can access even at home? Um, they can use it at home, but there is a cutoff time at 5 o'clock. Parents would then have to buy a subscription for their student to use at home. But we use it every day in the classroom, so they get their epic fix. Excellent. Thanks for sharing with us today, Angela. Thank you. Andrew, could you share with us a little bit about what you're showcasing tonight and how you use it in your classroom? So, um, this right here, it's um, how to create a Kahoot. So, in my classroom, I, every week, I create a weekly Kahoot on um, our vocabulary words. So, um, um, it's basically like a last um, minute study for, my, for the students in my, in my class to um, help get good scores on the test. Okay, that sounds great. And how often do you make these Kahoot games? Well, so like I said earlier, I make one once a week. So my teacher gives me the words in advance so I can work on it over the weekend and during breaks. Very cool. Do you happen to have a Kahoot that we could play tonight? Yes. Do you mind if we take it a try? Yeah, sure. Awesome. All right, we'll go with Mr. V. All right, I'm in. As an employee of the Hamilton Township School District, I should probably know this. It turns out I don't. I was off by one. About how long has HTSD been around? That's a trick question there. Well, I know some of our buildings are over 100 years old. We're going to talk it out. Do we get lifelines? Is there a life? Can I phone a friend? I can. A 
approximately how many students are in HTSD? Whoa! I'm the only one that got it right! Woo! <laughs> Andrew, this has been a great experience. Thank you so much. I expect good things from you when you go to middle school. I'm here with Ruth Killis, the librarian from Nottingham High School. Tonight, Ruth is showcasing our brand new VR headsets located in the media center for each one of our high schools. Ruth, can you share with us a little bit about how these VR headsets are being used in our high school classes? Sure, yeah, we've had a lot of buzz over these headsets so far, and we've had a lot of teachers come down and try to experiment with them as we learn the new technology. We had one uh, sports medicine teacher come and help kids understand the skeletal structure with one of our Google expeditions. Rather than displaying it on a whiteboard or a smart board, they were able to see it in 3D and understand how all the muscles and tissues and bones connected a lot better. So primarily we've been using the VR goggles with Google Expeditions, which is a fantastic app that helps you go on tours all over the world in different dimensions like outer space or tiny, tiny molecules and micros like microscopic cells. You can go inside a cell. Um, and this is the tour guide's tablet. The students would be seeing all of these 360 degree images in real time as if they are in the image itself through the VR goggles. We can draw attention with little bullseyes to different things that we want to point out and Google provides us with a lot of information and prompts so that we can get a really good educational experience out of each expedition. I'm sitting here with Brandon Nevada, advisor for Steiner Video Game Club. Brandon's here tonight with his club displaying some of the video games they play in their club and speaking with guests about the recently approved eSports teams coming to all of our high schools. Brandon, for those that you don't know about eSports, could you tell us a little bit about it? Well, uh, the simplest terms is that eSports is competitive video gaming. Um, it is actually the fastest growing spectator sport in the country at the moment. Um, and basically the main reason why we're looking into it on the high school level is because over a hundred colleges currently offer scholarships to eSports athletes. Are we taking you off your game right now, Brandon? That's fine, not a problem. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about this game you're playing? Uh, right now we're playing NBA 2K19. Um, it is one of the games that we will be offering uh, through the eSports program. We tried to bring the game, the games we brought tonight are mainly the games that are offered through the uh, high school eSports league. It is a nationwide recognized league uh, with several hundred schools participating all over the country. Right now we're standing in front of the Aviation Club Showcase. I'm joined by Rob Purcella and Chris Curdo, advisors for the Aviation Club at Reynolds Middle School. Guys, could you tell us a little bit about the Aviation Club and how long it's been going? We, we started, when did we start, Rob? Uh, four, four years ago? Four years ago. This is our fifth year doing it, or something like that. Four, yeah. five. Um, we were, uh, we both have an aviation background. Uh, I'm a pilot, and Rob took a number of flying lessons years ago and was on his way to becoming a pilot. Um, and we were talking one day and decided, you know, he's a technology teacher. He was trying to incorporate into his class, and we had the idea one afternoon, why don't we make it a club? Why don't we make it volunteer and have kids... Uh, come out and, and, and come after school and we can teach them about um, aviation. We bring a lot of physics into it and try to show them this is how a wing works and this is how the control surfaces work. They measure the distance between this airport and that airport and then they have to figure out, based on their speed, how long it's going to take them to do that. And then, then they go execute it in the cockpit. So they take that word problem in math class and bring it to a real-world situation. No, this isn't an episode of Robot Wars. This is actually the Crockett Cafeteria. This year at Tech Night, our robotics teams from our middle schools and high schools have taken over and are showcasing all the crazy and amazing things they have done with their robots this season. 
In a moment, we'll get a chance to speak with a couple of the advisors and students from some of the clubs and find out exactly what they're doing this season for robotics. Maybe next time. Right now we're in Crockett Cafeteria, the site of all of our district's robotic clubs. I'm joined by Maria Cesaro Golding and Brandy Rute, the advisors for the Grice Robotics team. Guys, tell me a little bit about how long this team has been going and a little bit about First Lego League. Hey, okay, this is our second year at Grice. Um, so this year <laughs> we have the City Shaper uh, mat where the students are it's like a mock city and the students have to use the robot to solve different issues in the city. Now I understand that you guys have a competition coming up. Yes. How many competitions throughout the school year are they and where are they located and how have you guys done in the past? Well, this will be our first year. Uh, we're going to do Steinert's Robotic Slam on Saturday and uh, we're looking forward to just kind of figuring out what it's all about and seeing how we do for our first time. I'm now joined with some of the robotics students from Grice Middle School. Today I have with me... Carissa. Zachary. Lucia. Would you guys mind sharing with me some of the things that you like the most about working with these Legos and being a part of this team? Well, I love when like the robot does what we want it to do. Like It's just like so happy and I love meeting new people every year. It's just like really fun. The coding is one of the most complex parts about uh, LEGO Robotics and when you finally just reach that finishing point of coding, it makes us so happy at the team and it's the best feeling ever. I'm possibly going to do robotics in high school and I want to go to TCJ and major in mechanical engineering because I want to design roller coasters. I, I love Legos, have a little circle in my room, and one day I hope to make a roller coaster taller than King Dakar. I absolutely love computers, and it's been one of my passions ever since I was little. So going into computer science when I'm older, maybe college, is one of the things that I'm really excited about. So Lego Robotics really kick-started me into computer science. Right now I'm joined by team members from the FRC 2495 Robotics Team from Hamilton High School West. Guys, could you tell me your name, what grade you're in, and how long you've been with the club? Uh, hi, I'm Nashawn Fulford. I'm in 11th grade, and I've been in the club for three years. I'm Ashina Gamboa. Uh, I'm currently a sophomore. I joined my freshman year. When I was a freshman, uh, I came in with my freshman friends and we heard about the robotics club and we thought, okay, this might be fun. So my friends and I joined coding and ever since freshman year, I've been a coder. What we do in our robotics club is we, we do different things. Like for programmers, we program the robot to move and do all the things that we need to do. For the builders, they build the robot so us programmers can program and see how we can, how we can make the robot move and do all this fancy uh, functions. We also got the art team that, that makes the cool fancy designs. This year we've created a new website with the help of Mr. Paul Meir and his brother Doc Paul Meir. It is called www.hamiltonwestrobotics.com and here you can find blogs, galleries of uh, pictures of our past competitions. There is also blogs on what each committee does. You can make donations. And really, you can also learn about our coach. Well, thank you guys for joining me, and I wish you all the best of luck in this year's season for robotics. Thank you for joining me at this year's HTSD Tech Night, live from Crockett Middle School. We got the chance to see a lot of really cool things that our teachers and students are working on throughout the district. Hopefully, next year, You'll join us.